cables for these breakers. So let us start. Uh, basic rule of thumb that you need to know uh, whenever uh, sizing an electric feeder regarding the breaker sizing and cable sizing is that the current of the load, I load, this is a, a be a standard rule which is also applied here in uh, DIWA and in the local regulations. I load should be less than the I breaker less than the I cable. What this basically means is that the uh, current of the breaker, the breaker rating should be higher than the load rating, the maximum current flow uh, of a certain electrical load. And the current of the cable, the capacity, the maximum uh, current that the uh, cable can handle should be higher than the breaker. Why is this? So that in case the breaker uh, does not trip or the tripping is delayed or the breaker is faulty, the breaker should be uh, the cable, sorry, should be able to handle the maximum current that could pass from this breaker, which is actually more than the uh, load current. So uh, the breaker current is higher than the load current and the cable handles whatever maximum current will pass there. But usually the breaker will trip at its rated current. So, but still uh, we size the break the cable based on the worst case scenario, which is the breaker uh, not tripping. Therefore, it should be able to handle that fault or that uh, overload. And if it delays in tripping, still the cable should be able to handle it. So this is the general rule of thumb whenever it's starting to size a breaker or a cable. So uh, calculating the breaker sizing uh, is very simple actually. We use a basic uh, engineering uh, calculation. Uh, the, the main uh, point that you need to calculate it is the, of course, the uh, current uh, capacity or the maximum current flowing in that electric feeder. Uh, we have two cases, as you know, uh, three-phase uh, load and the uh, single-phase load. So for a three-phase load, uh, how do we calculate the maximum current that uh, this electrical load uh, uh, has or will uh, draw? Uh, we uh, use the uh, basic engineering uh, uh, formula, which is the uh, I equal uh, P, which is the load uh, uh, wattage in kilowatt. I, I put the uh, unit in uh, brackets, kilowatt. So if I have 100 kilowatt, I put here 100. <coughs> if I have uh, 100 watts, it will be 0 0.1 kilowatt. Uh, then we divide it by uh, root 3 uh, multiplied into uh, 0.4 kV, which is 400 uh, volts, uh, multiplied by the power factor. Uh, we usually use uh, so the uh, square root 3 and 0.4 uh, is fixed. We are using always in, uh, in, in all the three phase calculations. And the power factor, we usually, uh, as a standard practice, we uh, consider 0 0.8 power factor as a worst case scenario. Since most of the projects uh, are having capacitor bank power factor corrections, therefore we uh, consider that the power factor uh, will drop to 0 0.8 as a worst case. And we consider the current calculation based on this. Uh, of course, it will be most of uh, the times it will be higher than 0 0.8 because the capacitor bank will uh, the capacitor bank will kick in to correct the uh, current in that case. So this is for a three phase. Next thing is the one phase calculation. So what differs here actually is the, it's the same basic formula, but what differs here is the as you can see here the voltage rating of this feeder. It's uh, 0.24 kV. Uh, this is uh, uh, the line to neutral rating, the single phase rating, and there is no square root 3. So uh, multiplied by the power factor, of course, which is the same, 0 
so you can see the difference between the formulas so these are the two formulas which we use in all the cases to calculate the current uh, capacity of the feeder whatever the feeder whatever the electric load very basic calculations but you will see they are powerful when we are applying them in different scenarios and uh, we add to them and we develop them by adding further variables in advanced scenarios so that we can uh, calculate we can consider more variations of the electrical load so uh, this is an example a typical example of uh, let's apply what we have learned this is a typical example of uh, an electric feeder an electric smdb or an electrical panel uh, what we have here is an incomer here and an electrical panel so this incomer is handling the full load of these four loads the downstream loads you can see that the total load connected to this panel total connected load the tcl is 112 kilowatts we have four four electrical loads 10 kilowatts 25 kilowatts 60 kilowatts and 17 kilowatts these are four dbs four downstream distribution boards and we have here meters so let's apply the, uh, the formula that we have just learned in calculating the circuit breaker here we will just be calculating the circuit breaker in the coming videos we will learn how to size the cables of these uh, upstream breakers so let's start by sizing the main incomer circuit breaker which is which we have a 112 kilowatt load connected there we will take this as an example and the rest you can do them yourself using the same formulas so the incomer uh, total load is 112 kilowatts we divide it by square root 3 multiplied into 0.4 which is the voltage rating the line to line voltage rating of course in kilovolt multiplied by 0.8 which is the power factor that we assume as a worst case power as a worst case scenario power factor so these three will be the same in most of your calculations what is the current coming here it's coming as a 202 amperes so what we usually do is that we want the breaker rating to be sized not 100 percent of the load we want it to be sized let's say 80 to 90 percent of the load so uh, what we do is that after we uh, get the final current rating we add a safety factor of let's say 20 percent okay so we have 202 ampere we don't want the breaker to be 100 percent loaded we want it to say uh, to be loaded let's say 80 percent so we add a uh, 20 percent safety factor so in this case what we will get is 242 amps so our actual uh, current in the worst case of 0.8 power factors 202 amps and we add a power we add a safety factor of 20 percent which gives us 242 amps so what is the breaker what's it, what are the standard breaker ratings available you can open any catalog any any data sheet of any manufacturer abb or schneider or any manufacturer you will get the standard circuit breakers there uh, so the standard circuit breaker in this case is 250 amps what is the closest highest rating in this case is 250 amps so our breaker our selected breaker in this case will be 250 amps so what we will do is we will use here a 250 amp circuit breaker the next thing we do is let's say we want to size I will give another example so let's size the 25 amps circuit breaker if you calculate it if you use the same formula what you will get let's calculate it it will be 25 it will give us about 45 amps so we multiply the 45 amps again into a 20 percent safety factor we will get about 54 amps so in this case we will use the closest uh, highest rating to this one is the uh, 63 amps so we will use a 63 amp breaker here uh, let's go for the 17 kilowatt feeder as well 
the 17 kilowatt feeder will give us about 30 amps 30 amps multiplied into 20% uh, will give us 36 uh, amps so the closest feeder to this one the nearest breaker to this one is 40 amps so now we have a 50 amps incomer we have a 63 amp here and we have a 40 amps here you can try to calculate now these two yourself usually for a db you don't want to use less than uh, 32 amps 32 amps for any db so if this comes less than 32 amps the minimum you want to use for a db feeder is 32 amps I will show you now the result of applying the formula for all these feeders so this is the final result of sizing the breakers for the incomer the exercise which we have done and these outgoings these are all three phase circuit breakers the same thing is simply if it's a one phase load whether a db or any type of load you will use the formula which we have given earlier for the single phase breaker so that's it very simple calculation and uh, you are done you can go on applying this for several examples whether you are in a certain project or you want to sketch you can get some online examples to practice this concept you can make an excel sheet to apply this example so that you don't have to repeat the calculation uh, each time you have a, a repeating uh, steps uh, so that's it in the coming videos we will be talking about sizing the cables uh, based on the DEWA standards as well thank you for watching and I appreciate if you share the video and uh, subscribe to my channel